GG, can you uh, see my screen on uh, Discord? Yeah. yeah, I see. Nice. Oh my goodness, what is this? Uh, yeah, I play a lot of Twitch. We have Rat IRL here. <clears throat> <laughs> Damn, bro. Oh, AP Twitch too. Very nice. Yeah. Oh my god, you're just farming people. What the heck? Oh no. We got farmed. Um, <clears throat> it's okay. Yeah. This, uh, oh, this is not a good matchup. It's fine. I don't know what this fuck this uh, Thresh versus Alistar is, but uh, <clears throat> okay. Um, EU West, the better region. So, uh, what do you, uh, what are you looking to work on? Well, do you know? Um, not exactly. However, I can give you some examples mm -hmm. so you can guide me. Uh, can you? Uh, that's the fifth game from top to bottom. The Twitch AD lost uh, game. This one, yeah. Yes. So this game and the one you said I'm farm. Uh, I got farmed. The zero ten. I, I think. Oh yeah. Um, in both games, I don't know why. Is it a mental issue or something? I know all League of Legends players have some, but I I think that sometimes I just lose control of the game since you are okay to die one, two, three times. However you have to have a plan and <laughs> in this game i managed to come back and then it wasn't successful but mm -hmm. on the previous game when zero ten, 10 mm -hmm. i think it just went out of control and that's only because of me how that's to my... not lose control basically right yeah since i've played this matchup a lot of the, I've, I've been playing league for so many years mm -hmm. and for some time i really pay attention to a lot of the details and honestly it's it's not a good matchup however it's not that hard for me since i share the range with vein and all i have to do is watch out for the trash hook which mm -hmm. i don't want to sound cocky however of i am very uh, afraid of the, uh, the trash hook i can even go cleanse since that's the only thing that can kill me, it will have effect on Pantheon as well. Mm -hmm. So that's one of the issues. The other one, um, for Twitch, I don't have issues building or itemizing or any runes. I think I know them perfectly. Um, however, I started to pick Caitlyn. Since when Riot introduced the swap order, most of the time I first pick. Ah. And there are two issues here. So I either pick Caitlyn... <clears throat> which is a very good champion. I know that you're one trick I admire <laughs> you. So, so long for it. And the other one, uh, the, the other champion that I want to play is Draven. I tried recording a ah, game with Draven. Ah, Draven, okay. It was either banned or I couldn't record it. I trolled a bit. Uh, so... Unfortunately, for uh, Draven's pretty the good champions though. I want to play. Okay. Caitlyn Draven? Not, uh, not Varys? That's interesting. I saw Varus so, was your uh, third most played. I tried playing Varus. Uh, I had like a week or two mm -hmm. where I played Varus, Kate, uh, Kate uh, Kaisa, and Twitch. However, I got lost with Varus. Like, I know the, the attack speed build and I know the AP builds for him. Mm -hmm. However, I got lost on the attack speed build after two items. I literally think I, I'm not doing damage. Oh really? And, After Shibo mm, Rage Blade? Yeah, and even even uh, Blade of the Ruin King sometimes, oh, which are perfect items. Both are in <laughs> perfect position right now. Mm -hmm. And even though some games maybe maybe it's just the state of the game or <clears throat> itemization that I don't know, but I just felt lost and decided just if I want to win lane and I'm not gonna get countered or something. Let's say Twitch is banned since he and Draven got get banned a lot. Mm -hmm. I prefer to play, play Caitlyn or Draven. Okay. So I see. I see. That makes sense. Okay. This then, game. Um... This game for Varus, exa for example. I'm sorry for interrupting you. I picked oh, no, you it did. since we needed uh, we needed AP, and ah. Twitch got banned, and that's ah. why I played. So you play AP, AP Varus. Yeah. You see. <laughs> I don't know what happened here. Why is there a lot of Smurfs in US? Or yeah, there are a lot of Smurfs. They re when they remove the Smurf queue. You get matched with golds or plots that are with very high win ratio. I see. I and see. Sometimes <clears> these <throat> smurfs are. Not Wait, did so they high. did they already remove the smurf queue? Yeah, yeah, that's why you get matched with. Okay, okay, okay. Gold. Wait, what the fuck is this? Oh, she went to AFK. I don't know why. 
<laughs> yeah. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. All right. Then, uh, which of these games you want to start with? <clears throat> um, let's uh, let's start uh, with the most right one, the Kate one? Soraka Jintrash. Okay. Yeah, nice. I, oh I wow. Think we lost this already. one, and uh, the Jin was very good. Mm-hmm. And in most times when I play against Jin, uh, I, this guy he was a one trick pony. I saw mm-hmm. his profile. Mm-hmm. So it is normal to play good. However, I feel that in general, Jin is a good pick against Caitlyn. True, I would agree. <clears throat> One of the uh, oh. classics. Oh, this is interesting. I already saw something interesting here. Um, so I'm curious. What what made you? Uh, are you? Cr- do you track your uh, headshots in lane at all? Uh no. Oh, okay. Interesting. No. Interesting. So there's a we have a small opportunity here. Um, <clears throat> based on what I just said, do you uh, do you know what I'm gonna say next? <laughs> well, go ahead, say it. Oh uh, yeah, we we can headshot. We can look to headshot someone. Not that you have to headshot someone. Okay. So um, okay, you've played gym before, right? Uh, yeah, actually, a lot. Yeah. Actually. When you have four shot, do you just immediately hit a minion? No, no, no. I try to trade since this is my uh, most powerful one. Agreed. Okay. When you play Kaelin and you have headshot, do you immediately shoot a minion? No, no, no. You shouldn't, right? No, it's I, like Jin for a shot, yeah. right? So yeah. <clears throat> when we have the headshot ready, we should be, uh, we should look. It doesn't mean you can hit them, but we should look. And then this Thresh is trolling, right? How come? Oh, well, it's... he sees me going for the minion here. So mm-hmm. let's, let's pause here. So yeah. he he knows that f- first off we're mm-hmm. not on the same lane with Sorak. She's behind <clears throat> behind me. So I'm the primary target. Uh-huh. Jin is out attacking the last minion. He has three shots. And he can easily just walk. Don't throw the hook, just out attack me. And that way Jin can follow and I will I will have to back off or take a bad trade. Uh, you think we can't win the trade, basically, right? If I dodge the hook, we win the trade. But if I get hit by the hook, I will lose it. I think. <clears throat> okay. So Raka has Q. That's fair enough. Fair enough. I mean, we we did something pretty similar though, did we not? You yes, went for a minion actually. instead of hitting him, right? It's pretty. It's very close to being similar. So that's something that I thought um was interesting because um there there is an angle there, right? <clears throat> also, yeah. uh, they uh might be doing an illegal here. Okay, we can do something. Um, there's also another interesting opportunity here. Okay, so you saw you started hook. He's he's dog level one, right? <clears throat> mm-hmm. And how mm-hmm. long is this hook cooldown? Around, it's at, I will say around ten seconds. I'll get yeah. agreed. I'll Extremely get long, right? <clears throat> so he has no hook. <clears throat> so is he? Can he do anything? No, actually, so, no. I can yeah. use it. Yeah, this second wave is coming in. Are they allowed to touch minions? They shouldn't be. All right, so this is like this is like a blitz who uses hook already, essentially, right? It's like Thresh who uses hook. Except even worse, yeah. I think. Thresh has less stats, I want to say, right? So, <clears throat> how can we abuse this? Well, I can just walk forward, mm-hmm. and whenever Jin goes for uh, minion damage, I will go to harass him. Yeah, so exactly. I follow. Yeah. Perfect. And, and so then we just trade. Hook. Yeah, yeah, yeah we exactly. Just win the trade. Yeah, we just trade, right? We just fight because they can't do anything to us. Right, and if they continue hitting the minions, obviously they're gonna lose their entire health bar. Right, they're gonna be like half health. Right, that's a great, yeah. that's a great, uh, great outcome. And if they don't hit the minions, they hit you instead. You win the trade. Right. <clears throat> so here you're kind of just like um, letting them do whatever they want. Like this dude literally tossed hook in our face, and then we're like, we didn't punish. Right. You and now they're like walking up on. This. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm really sorry for interrupting you. You good? No, you good. Um, um, that happens to me. A lot mm-hmm. of the time. Yeah. Uh, as I mentioned, I played ADC exclusively ADC with some incidents on it um, for eight to nine years. Mm-hmm. So it is very easy. It was very easy for me to fall into um, this kind of a state that you just play the game, but you don't <laughs> play it. You're not sanctioned at this time. You, mm-hmm. know, you just automatically do stuff. So. Um, that's uh, around, I don't know, a year ago when I tried to actually understand why am I doing this and actually started to improve. Mm-hmm. Um, I am I'm very aware of the training methods and when to train, when to not. However, it's, oh, as I said, 
I the first thing I don't trade uh, I don't track headshots with Caitlyn, which I do. For example, with Twitch, I very know I very well know how many stacks the enemy have, and yeah. if I can reapply it, so I will take even better trade. Mm -hmm. And this is something I don't do with Caitlyn at all. Mm -hmm. So this that's another issue of me that uh, I fall into these passive states, you know, where I don't think about the game, and that hurts me a lot. For example, like you pointed out with the trade, and now they get level two. Mm -hmm. Well, um, <clears throat> like you said with Twitch, with Twitch, you said, oh, I can just like do it very naturally. I know how many stacks they have. So before the six seconds are up, I'm going to reapply the poison, right? And uh, with Kaylin, it's very similar. It's just like, as you're auto-attacking minions, just know what number headshot, uh, what number counter you're on, like what number auto-attack you're on, right? Like with Jin, it's super obvious because you have an indicator. With Kaylin, you have to kind of take a look real quick at your, um, your, uh, your uh, icon bar, I guess you could say. <clears throat> your buff debuff bar. And um, it's like an easy habit you could build with Kaelin. It's just like, okay, we're last hitting minion. What's my counter at? So then you can plan it out. So like on five, last hit minion, you have six, headshot thresh. Something like that. Right? You can plan things out. Right? So it's the easy, it's like easy things you can do. And then the other one, you mentioned that like, oh, I missed the fact that he didn't have hook and we could have done something. Well, <clears throat> every time, uh, it's another easy habit you can implement in lane, right? It's just... Every time the supports do something, make sure you pay attention, right? So let's say, for example, <clears throat> this guy threw hook. Okay, no hook. That means, for the, what does that mean for us? So every time the supports shoot. do something, right? Because their abilities are usually more important. Of course, Jin, Force Shot, and W are going to be very important in this lane, but pay attention to their, um, their ability usage will be able to tell you what you're supposed to do next, right? <clears throat> So yeah. that's uh, definitely one thing we can um, we can see here. Also, you got you lost level two, right? Why do you think you yeah, lost level lost, two? I, I don't know. Um, uh, IQ, for example. Mm -hmm. uh, so here I use it to harass the enemy. When yeah. first I could use it to do both. That's one uh, opportunity. The other is <clears throat> I should have traded with them. Yeah. Since <clears throat> here they're. Uh, Trash and Jin hitting one minion and then the other with his Q pushing the wave. That's that uh, everything is damage on the minions, so this helps. When I use Q and start pushing the wave alone, so Soraka will help. However, this will be too uh, too late for me. Right, because we already queued him. Right, you are kind of yeah, on exactly. the you're kind of on the right path. Right. Okay, so a lot of this is like. It seems like you're doing half one thing, half the other. Like you queue at him, good trade, but then you try to get level two, which didn't really make sense because yeah. by queuing him, you already gave up the level two, right? So yeah. if you had the intent of just fight them to the point of I'm down to all in because you have lethal temple, then you would not even touch the minions at all. You're just running at them and basically yeah, killing yeah. them while they're killing the, the wave, right? So a lot of, uh, a lot of league is going to be about intention. What are you trying to do at any given moment, all right? <clears throat> so, so far, it's definitely a... Um, you didn't know what you wanted to do and they just wanted to push so they pushed right and then uh mm -hmm. and then they got level two because of it right <clears throat> so definitely uh definitely interesting i'm sure we will see more in this landing phase but uh we're losing someone's losing some here i mean if it's just a flash for a flash i'm down that's not too bad flash ignite for uh cleanse soccer flash i'm down to take that right <clears throat> that could have been a it's lot worse yeah, yeah that could have been a lot worse i'm hella down in fact uh their wave is not very good which is kind of funny is they're the one who's supposed to have advantage right <clears throat> okay did you yeah. see did you see what just happened uh trash missed cook again so i can take oh. advantage of it yes and how do you take advantage i woke up and out attack Jin. yeah well <clears throat> and uh how do we make it even better instead of just auto attack Jin, what can we look for we, just to kill since if i auto attack it i think uh, the will, i'll draw aggro well, Q, Q is kind of hard to hit, just like straight up, right? Yes, so we can, I can follow it up with something. Mm, true. Well, what's, think of it like, uh, think of it like you're playing Jin. Are you going to walk up and Q this guy? Because Thresh missed hook? Or what are you going to try and do? What's your best move? As Jin? Yeah, if you're playing Jin, just pretend you're Jin here instead uh, of Kaylin. If I'm Jin and my Thresh uh, just missed the hook. No, 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 his Thresh. Be... Sorry, we we'll just play like you're Jin and this is random ADC. Oh, um, well, um, I'm not really sure. You tell me what's Jin, you told you told me what's Jin's best trading pattern. You already told me, right? Yes, 
It's uh, Q and it's auto attacking. Q and auto attacking? Well, let's say, uh, le uh, let's rewind. So I'm Jin. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And I have uh, which support? Soraka or Trish? Sure, Sor Soraka. So, and Soraka. Okay, yeah. so the enemy is a random medic carry with Trish. Yeah. Okay, so when Trish missed Hook, yeah. I will walk up. And I will out attack the the closest one, which for in this example is the Sorak. Okay, so <clears throat> that's interesting to me because you said you're just gonna you're just gonna walk up and auto attack, right? <clears throat> but okay. what if this is like a um let me uh let me get my pen out here. Let's say this is like a um we said this is a random ADC, right? And by walking up, we're implying that we're walking into their wave, right? So if this is like, let's say this is like Cogmore Vren uh no, maybe maybe not Cogmore because it's too common. I mean uncommon, sorry. Let's say it's Draven. <clears throat> He's gonna e auto attack you while you auto attack him once. Is this a winning trade? I don't know if it's a Draven. I wouldn't uh, walk up. Even I though Thresh ma missed Jason. hook. Okay, yeah. So let's say it's Draven. How do you Thresh missed hook? How um, do we punish? Well, honestly, I'm leaning towards since in this in this particular situation, I don't see the enemy support, and I won't be able to see him since he's in the bush. And any attempt of me trying to target the enemy support is wrong here, since I will give a position and well, the, I will lose the trade. So I will have to target either the enemy ADC, which of this is Draven, I will lose. Then I will have to push the wave. Mm. Okay, so I... okay, so I think we 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 might be missing a piece here, right? So. The problem, okay, so you say like, oh, against certain ADCs, it's hard to trade against them. But yeah, we'll their lose. Thresh already missed hook, right? <clears throat> so mm -hmm. surely there's a winning position here between you and Soraka. Besides just like not interact with them. Uh, yes, as, as we discussed, we need to do something when yes. the support misses a <clears throat> Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the thing is, I think the problem you're having is what is that something, right? So if you're well, playing maybe... Jin, what is your strongest move in lane? My strongest move? Yeah. What is, is your strongest shot. trading pattern? Yes, is a four shot. And how do you yeah. and you pair it with what? Maybe maybe a Q. Yeah. The W has a, a casting animation. Yeah. I I try to lower the minions HP so the Q can hit the maximum damage, that's one of them. <clears throat> right, so Q for shot, and then we can look for a W, right? Yeah, yeah. So when Thresh misses hook, as Jin, what do you do? Um, well, I can try to stack my fourth shot. There you go, right? Stack four shot, and then what? While and his hook trade. is down, yes, and then look for trade, right? Exactly. And then yes, you yes. told me earlier, we're going to walk up and auto attack them. What's the problem with this? The problem is that at some point, I will have to either take an even trade, which is not optimal, or take a bad, bad trade he, since he needs four shots to out trade me. Since yeah. I suppose that I won't hit my Q, and he will out damage me because he will. No, no, no. Sorry, I think uh, uh, I may have phrased the question wrong. Okay, on Jin, you said when Thresh misses the hook, you're just gonna walk up and auto attack them. <clears throat> yes. Right. So. Okay. Do you want to walk up without your um, four shot ready? Not really, since uh, we're not playing in gold. They they won't stay for the four shot. Yes, and I not will take yeah. A lot of damage. Yeah, not really, right? So I, you want to charge it up the and then go. Yes, I will right? damage the minions. Yes. In a certain pat pattern. Okay. Since yes. I won't be able to... <clears throat> exactly right. So the pattern yes. is. So let's say we're playing Jin. Okay, Thresh misses hook. Charge up four shot. Then look for a trade with four shot. Okay. Yes. Because that's our strongest trading pattern. Okay. I want you. To, I want you to remember that. Like, I guess remember this idea, right? Because we're not playing Jin anymore. We're playing Caitlyn now. Thresh just missed Hook. How do we do the same thing? So I can also attack the minions, trim the wave, and stack the headshot. When I get the headshot, mm -hmm. it applies the same. Okay. And then you walk the up point. and you look for headshot, right? With net. Yeah. And or yes. Q, right? So, <clears throat> how many stacks we're at? We're at four. This is look. Uh, this is look free. Actually, yes, I can. <clears throat> I'm down to auto attack, last hit, auto attack for five, last hit for six, walk up. Don't let him play the game. 
He tries to auto-attack you, headshot, boom, we win, right? <clears throat> yes. And this is how we, I think this is part of the, um, the control and laning phase that um, you, you, might be, you might be looking for is how do we play the game based on what these guys are doing, right? Because did you see what you just did there? You know, they're like, uh, they're like super afraid, right? But you can, at this point, you can even deny XP if they're playing like this, right? They're like yeah. hard trolling, <clears throat> right? So I think part of what we're seeing in lane is how we react to what the supports are doing. Right, because so far it seems like we are we have no reaction to what they do. Like, is that allowed? I don't know if that's allowed. Yeah, <clears throat> yeah and they know now. So, uh, yeah, you should try and deny XP here, right? Look, he's gonna try and W yeah, minions. He's gonna walk. try and Q, right? So yeah, and it's walk forwards. And it's all based on what is the enemy support doing, right? So <clears throat> you, you can, yes. we can punish harder, okay? But uh, let's keep going. I think. Uh, <clears throat> We're trying to crash this, right? Volibear is looking um, to invade. Well, if I'm if he pings to invade, I will crash it. However, I I don't really count ways in order to know when to uh, hard push it. Just mm -hmm. now, it, it is slow pushing. Well, how did I know uh, it was gonna crash before? Well, I see <clears throat> I see that there are a, a lot of minions. I see my wave where it is, so mm -hmm. I can know where theirs is. Mm -hmm. Uh, that's uh, one way to see if the enemy wave will arrive before the crash. Uh, <clears> and <throat> now, when I slow push and crash the wave, I know that it will slow push to me. Uh, depending uh -huh. on the enemy jungler pick, I know what what do I want to do with the wave, and yeah. based on my strength and how I feel. However, one of the things that you assured me uh, within the few minutes we spoke is. Um, I, with not counting the headshots, I don't know where my strength is. And as we mentioned, right. Jin, Caitlyn, that's, that's my most powerful thing. Right. <clears throat> you want to make sure you have your, um, uh, your most, your big, your, da your damage pattern ready. It's like a pattern because you do the same thing every time, yes, right? Exactly. <clears throat> so, exactly. um, yeah, also they are, uh, we're playing extremely passive, right? I'm very uh yeah. very curious here. Okay, so let's let's talk about this. let's talk about this. Okay, so <clears throat> so what do we know in this lane so far? What's what, what, what summoners were traded? Uh, he doesn't have ignites, and mm -hmm. I don't have class. Mm -hmm. What about the bigger sums? More the uh, playmaking flash sums. Shark. Flash Sharka and Flash Hoop. Uh, trash. Trash. Okay, so <clears throat> uh, in a gank situation, right? Well, I guess it's uh Salas Jungle who's mid right now. How will they uh, get a gank off? They need to snare me with Jin W. Uh, yes. Or I need to walk in a Thresh hook, which won't happen. Right. So I there's no just... Thresh Flash Flay play. Is it yes, important there one? Is no. Right. <clears throat> so, <clears throat> what does that mean for us? How, sh how can well, we play the lane? Um, well, we can uh, fall back to the same pattern that we talked about earlier. Uh, when he doesn't have Flash, that's, that should make it. Um, easier for me even since I all I have to do is know the range and the hook when, mm -hmm. when it's off cooldown and when he uses it or he can't use it for example there is a big wave he can't just hook me through it I can trade with my most powerful abilities the, the headshot and Q with Jin right right <clears throat> I'm down right uh, but let's say uh, let's say he just doesn't use hook like like what's happening right now You know, does it look like um? <clears throat> I'm missing. I'm, I'm how missing we, a lot how, of attacks on the oh, enemy. Yeah, how we? How can we apply pressure? Is the question. Because <clears throat> well, this thresh has no flash. Well, here at this exact moment, yeah. I can at least walk up. I know that my auto attack range towards them won't be um plus e plus my e net will be enough to avoid the thresh hook. Agreed. Uh, let let's say that this is some kind uh, sometimes dangerous since I may fail the timing, but I can at least try. And yeah. the other important thing is that Soraka is not no no longer level two, so she has every summoner uh, mm -hmm. every spell. Excuse me. And at this point, we won't lose the trade that hard. Oh yeah, we so, want the trade, right? 
Yeah, and she needs reloading as well, which means his first shot is a bit on the way. And there is time for me to trade. So here, nice. I can at least one or two attacks try to wave in a spell or something, or bait some spell of them. Mm. Okay, that How, what's the biggest trade you can do? Best trade you can do? Best trade Kaelin. I can do is I have five stacks right now on the headshot. Yeah. I can headshot it, maybe try a trap when yeah. he out attacks, uh, yeah, uh, so he can lock himself in an animation. <laughs> yeah. And follow the follow follow with with EQ. Perfect. Okay, that's what you want to look for when you uh uh want to trade <clears throat> on minions, right? You just stack headshot and we look, right? And uh, like you said, we're looking for EQ, we're looking for W, anything, anything really, right? Because our yeah. matchup tells us that we want to trade with, especially with Soraka, right? And they yeah, need to, like you knows. said, they need to hook you, and he has no flash, so it's a bit impossible. So here, when he autos a minion, is this uh is this really uh allowed? <laughs> <clears throat> no, I shouldn't be standing there. I shouldn't have backed up. I yeah. should stay right right where I am. <clears throat> yeah, he's kind of doing whatever he wants somehow, right? It doesn't really make sense, right? How about this Thresh? Is this Thresh is running at us allowed too? That's no, crazy. I, I, can, I can either <clears throat> not my use Q earlier or at least trap him in his footsteps. Oh, here's a trick, okay? How do you prevent him from just running into these bushes? And just going like this. Well, I, can, I have a ward. I have uh, traps. I, I put, uh, let's say, in the second trap. Yeah, uh, excuse me. The second bush, I can put it in at the start yeah, of the here's bush. Here's good. Yeah, here's good. Here is good. These are classic, okay. And then the instant he steps on one, we're one lane because uh, he loses too much health, right? He loses a lot. Even Soraka, if she's in position, she can silence him and root. Right. And that <clears throat> so I think um, the story of this lane so far is I think a lot of um, potential missed opportunity, right? And somehow yes. they're actually slow pushing into us, right? They're gonna crash into us somehow. This. Is, and when uh, we are the ones who are supposed to be in control, right? It's almost like they're doing whatever they want, and then we're just trying to, like, kill minions, right? <clears throat> yeah. It seems to be almost... And then now you're like, I'm afraid of a dive because they're, like, crashing, right? So it's like, uh, yeah. <clears throat> somehow we've lost control is a good way to put it, right? Do you think is a good way to put it? Yeah, yeah that's, true. that's true. Somehow we've lost control, okay? So I think uh, the, few, the two ideas... In laning phase. The first is we talked about a lot, right? The, the, the support misses something. How can I... What's my champion's best trading pattern? And how can I use it in this situation? Right? So let's say you're a Varus. <clears throat> what's a classic Varus trading pattern? Well, um, what I do is when I try to auto-attack the enemy. Mm -hmm. So I can proc an easy off. Perfect. That's there you go. one. Auto-attack E, uh, yeah. Of, exactly. Yeah, if I, if I can't walk up for, to auto-attack him, I can... Sometimes Q him without a W, of course. Right. He's only Q. With, uh, that's very good for me. And there is another thing that I tried to place the traps here, but... Yeah, uh, I think uh, we gave up too much pressure in lane for no reason, right? There's an instant flash yeah. if you want to win this. Oh, that's awkward. <clears throat> that's fine. Yeah. What is the trick? Okay, here's a trick here you can do, okay? The instant they touch you, you insta flash. Okay, because you're gonna you want to flash their first reaction. So you flash his auto attack, he's tanking tower. Actually, let me show let me show you actually. Let me see. Um, where was the game? Um, 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 um uh, holy shit. Let me see. Let me see. I can find it quick. Okay. Okay. So you know you know what I'm uh, talking about here. Mm. Okay. Twitch. I was playing Twitch. Perfect. I was playing Twitch. There we go. <clears throat> okay. This is a dive, right? And I said, what yeah. was the trick? Insta flash, right? You insta yeah, flash their. Uh, you a lot of time. Yeah, your fir their first reaction because he's gonna try for a bind, right? So you see how like he pretty ignited, thinking that he was gonna hit everything. So he ended up tanking tower. Right? It's a kind of a trick you can use. Oh, whoops, we're on this one. All right, so here, he thought he was going to land everything guaranteed, so he auto-attacked. So you could instant flash right after the auto-attack, like that. And then uh, yeah, then, uh you could kill him, right? But it's fine. I mean, I'm not really worried about it. It's just a trick you can use for uh, against dives, okay? <clears throat> but uh, yeah. I'm real, the thing I'm more worried about is how do we lose lane like this? Right, it shouldn't be allowed, right? Well, I, I, I let them do too much research. That right. happens a lot. 
there is this um i don't know how to explain it correctly but when the enemy leaner you, when you he, when you see him afraid that's that's a natural instinct you gain more control and you think of other ways to push him and to mm -hmm. deny him resources that's what they did here exactly. yeah yeah Since exactly they were afraid earlier i'm afraid now so why not they can push <laughs> yeah let's try and i was yeah so uh okay so here's a here's another way to help you see what you're supposed to do in lane very quickly okay so in order for them to win lane so to speak their thresh needs to land a hook yeah right so it's very support based right so in order for us to win lane <clears throat> what do we need to do well i we have a soraka i can yeah. just out trade them yes even, we can out trade them if, yes. yeah even if i take a trade soraka can just <clears throat> kill me so the pvp looks like this they go for hook we go for trade right so and when do we yeah. pvp on every single minion last hit is a chance to pvp because that's what people want in lane they want minions right so every time you yeah. want a minion is their chance to throw hook every time they want a minion is our chance to trade okay so we back it up here right <clears throat> and we look at this do we see any uh, opportunities here now that we've talked about this on every minion by the way okay yeah, here it's not uh, right there. needed yes. for me to click back. I need exactly, to click. I can click forward. Exactly, exactly, exactly. You're gonna headshot him. They're gonna try to hook you. What do you do? Net. You told me you're gonna net, right? No problem. Yeah, I'm gonna right. EQ. <laughs> Easy. EQ. Perfect. Anything like that. Right. I'm down to trap. Down to fake. We can dodge. Anything works. But the thing is, you have to play the game when the minions are dying. And I think right now we are just uh, playing super far back and not trying to um, play towards our matchup so to speak okay like you, you 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 tell you told me very very quickly we want to trade right so the secret is mm -hmm. on these minions dying is your time to look and you told me we figured out how do we trade what's your champion's strongest trading patterns headshot every time i have a headshot and he's killing a minion i'm gonna look i'm at least gonna get the hook or i'm gonna hit him or i'm gonna make him lose the minion i'm gonna do something right and you see how you how quickly you dumped it <clears throat> this is your this is your entire trading pattern you immediately killed it killed a minion when uh you had you had a long time before they were dying to your minions right yeah <clears throat> and he's doing this there's he, this is this is a classic he'll kill the wave you have headshot he can't actually do anything because uh because uh the minion's dying and you have headshot ready so he has to hit you instead and then you trap and then now he gets trapped or he can't hit you right so <clears throat> it's a, a, a very classic uh very classic pattern right uh and use q here is kind of awkward but it's fine but that's the idea okay on every single minion you need to look for the PvP. Because if you don't look for the PvP, they're just looking on you the entire time. Right? Yeah, <clears throat> that's, uh, I think that's a very important point on Caitlyn, since she's, uh, for, for me at least, as far as I understand, the champion. Mm -hmm. She's one of the strongest in lane. Uh, mm -hmm. She has the range. Yep. She, she has the, the abilities uh, to damage. Think, yeah, so, think, yeah, think of Jin. Uh, it's like a Jin with a longer range four shot. That sounds pretty OP, right? <laughs> yeah. It's like, what the heck? Jin with a longer range four shot, it's already really good, right? <clears throat> oh, uh, yeah. we killed all the minions here. Did you want to do this? Um, well, here I tried to freeze it. However, I saw Thresh walking up. I know I don't have a flash. But here I thought it's... I don't. I can't freeze it with three minions. So Wait, I should have slow pushed it. <clears throat> I should have tanked them and yeah. just waited. Yeah. So okay. This is the this is the, the line to memorize. The range yeah. minions. If you can prevent them from running into tower, you have a a, a good a good line, so to speak. Okay. And um, why do we want this? Why do we want a safe position here? Well, <clears throat> we don't have any vision on on the bottom uh, side of the lane at any of the bushes. Also, it's very easy for me to punish uh, trash. We mm -hmm. since. You already drew it for me. However, um, I don't think he really can ho can hook from the top side. Mm -hmm. okay. the range. Sure, so sure. he can only hook from the bot side. So of I know his position. I can use it even more against them, since either I'm gonna trade stupidly and knowing that he can't land the hook, so I will mm -hmm. trade, or he will try to land the hook and I will be expecting it already. So it's already good for us in lane, right? <clears throat> How about yeah. outside of the lane context? Why is this line good? Oh. Well, it prevents us from ganks. It's safe. Ah, ganks. It's easier for my jungler to gank. 
All right, how come we should be safe against ganks at this moment in time? Well, by keeping the wave at our side of the lane, at least. That, that's the, the line you draw is the perfect spot. Well, However, well, for me... I guess the better question is, what is your team doing? Oh, my team, uh, at this point, I see them going toward the top, the top side. Yeah, so well, Jungler is clearing his blow. Mm -hmm. uh, mid lane is, I think, pathing mid. Yeah, he's in so base. He yeah, <laughs> he's in base, right? So, <clears throat> yeah. if there's a, a timing for them to do anything for free, it's right now, right on bot yes, lane. Yes, <laughs> we won't punish. My team won't be able to punish. Yeah, exactly. Well, your team won't be able to respond, right? So that's why uh, we need to keep a. As a default, we keep a line there. Okay, we keep we keep the range minions alive. Range one range minion alive, at least. So that they all so that the the wave meets here okay <clears throat> and that's a good trick because uh this is a uh hex flash angle i think uh hex flash fly and you actually die um to lantern right uh oh speaking of which it's not even hex flash it's just a normal flay no <clears throat> so yeah that's how you prevent this stuff from happening but uh this could be a really good trade because uh we want to take trades right yeah. uh you should fight this maybe oh what the fuck? He's killing himself. Nice ulti. Yeah, I think. Yeah, I don't himself. know what they're doing. <laughs> <clears throat> All right, <clears throat> not bad. We take it, I guess. I'll take it. I'll take it. I don't think we want to push this, right? Good. Yeah, I tried to stop oh. push. <clears throat> we are. Okay. We're not pushing this, right? Okay, good. We're not... well, I mean, we haven't Q used Q on the wave yet, so. I mean, we're just thinking about Silas here, right? Uh, okay, let's talk about this. <clears throat> I so this I is. Counted, but I didn't. This is this is this is how we know there's a problem here, right? You you're trying to, you're fighting his four shot with your what? Oh, I don't have my headshot. <laughs> yeah, so you're fighting his four shot with a normal auto attack. Okay, I think what you said earlier was a very key um, insight into how what you think when you said I'm just gonna walk up and auto attack them when they miss hook, right? So yeah. you need to play around your character's greatest strength, <laughs> guaranteed damage strength. Okay, and we fight over the minions. Right, so you're fighting over the minions, but you don't have headshot ready, so you're gonna lose, which is what happens here, right? You just took 200 damage for free, <clears throat> right? <clears throat> so if there's anything you take away from today, at least for laning phase, it's um, sack headshot, easy, right? <laughs> yeah. On uh, Kalen specifically, but other champions, make sure you have your full damage pattern ready. Okay. Uh, you did the same thing here. You you made the wave in a really sus spot, right? Yeah. You just uh keep keep a range minion alive. <clears throat> Okay, let's fast forward. Um, Volibear is trying to do something top, right? Okay. Uh, I don't know what this is, but we don't like this. Uh, okay, hit the net on the gin here. We're probably happy. Cleanse. Uh, no net? Well, oh, I was I, ooh, I kind of oh. waited so he can bait himself <laughs> and so I can EQ at the last moment and kill mm -hmm. with EQ, however. Uh, okay, let's talk about this. this is, I think we have a very... There's also a very important thing we need to talk about here because I think what you just said is also very insightful to how you think, okay? So, <clears throat> Saraka is doing this, whatever this is, right? Yeah. Tell me... Let's back it up a bit. Tell me, what is the situation on the map? Well, Jungler is not in the game. Mid, we, we can't expect anything from mid. Since Wait, he's... who's Jungler? Sorry. Uh, Volibear, the Volibear. Mm -hmm. He's. I see him backing at least. Even if he's full HP, he's not here. He won't yeah. be here at least. He's playing top so side, right? Fun. Yeah. So then, uh, therefore, what does that mean for us? Well, if I see a jungler playing for top side, even uh, in moments when I think I can trade, I I don't. No, no, we're not talking about um, auto attacks or damage on the lane. <clears throat> I'm talking yeah. about kills. Yeah, since I know that my team is doing somewhere something somewhere else, yeah. so if I screw up and I fall behind, I'm giving up the lead on top. Since the the enemy team is doing the same to me. Yeah. So what does that mean for us? What are we supposed to do? Um, well, just play smarter, which doesn't in all cases mean safer, but smarter. To know when to go for the trades and when not. Uh, I don't know where their jungler is, so again. I need to position better, uh, get the wave in a good state and position, so I I know I don't I won't die. Okay, so and basically it boils down to, if 
our jungle is top and their jungle is missing, what do we want to do? It's not just like play just, smarter. Let's have like a actual. Uh, well, I will try. I will try to freeze the wave. That's my best case scenario. Where genius. Uh, that way, I I know that I will be able to trade with them when I can and farm all the minions without losing and be safe to ganks. That's uh, one. sure. But what's our what's our intent? Like, what's our mindset? Should we be fighting or not fighting? Basically, we shouldn't be fighting. No fighting, right? We don't want to fight because yeah. their jungle is going to come and clean up, essentially. Yes. Right. So let's just watch it. It's very simple, right? It's just intent is no fight. Don't want to fight. Okay. So when you see this. Right? How can we? How are we supposed to play differently here? Well, I can. Uh, when we exclude the trap position, I should just slow him and run. That's it. Yeah, that's it. Right? We need to stop. We need to fight. Right? And here you're like yeah. auto attacking them. We we actually trade cleanse for hook, right? Which is yeah. not bad if it's in two v two if you get enough damage off. But here you're still trying to continue the fight, right? Which is a big yeah, problem. Yeah, here. Right. Because uh, I mean, these guys are full on vision, but um, uh, yeah, uh, we gave we gave away the Soraka kill for for what exactly? No compensation, right? For nothing. Exactly, yeah. right? So well, I think I a think lot of it is like, oh yeah, what's up? I think only Salas flashed, but that's it. Oh yeah, Salas flashed, Salas flashed. I mean, I, he's down to take that, obviously, right? He's happy with that, right? <clears throat> um. <laughs> What the fuck? Why is uh Soraka pinging top? What's going on? Uh, she got what the fuck? Because... What the fuck? Uh... She uh went to fight the tribush and uh, got engaged on when uh Jungle was playing top. You need to crash this wave, by the way. What's going on? Yeah, well, start with first walking up to the wave to touch it at all since it was even. Uh, I was a bit afraid since I saw Jin leave. Or I don't one of them I saw leave. However, the others might have stayed. No, you saw you and... saw Jin base, right? Yeah. Okay, so, so this. I can... <clears throat> okay, so you were afraid here because you're like, oh, Thrash and Salas are gonna come in like this, right? Or something like that. Yeah. Or they stayed. Of one of the bushes, something <laughs> like that. And how come this wouldn't work for them? Well, I'm um, well, up either I ward. Or I don't touch the wave and back. I should either. No, 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 no. I'm, I'm, I'm telling you. You push the wave and they come gank you. This is not. This doesn't work for them. How come? That's like the answer is. Can, that's a bad gank. I can, the, I, I can use. I can use my trap as a defense. <clears throat> okay. The minions to block. So here's a. I think this is the the a key point into your uh, macro game. I think is going to be uh, uh, important to practice. Okay. The being able to do stuff and not do stuff is based off of what role? To be able to do stuff and not be able to do stuff. Yeah. Well, if I have... As a team. As a team. As a team, we can play oh. topside because... Or as a team, we can play bus. Like... Um, well, the first thing that comes to mind that I'm not sure if it's true. However, it's priority. Uh... The other one is where someone is on the map. Okay, yeah. Who, 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 who specifically? Um, well, the junglers. Yeah, the jungler, right? What is your jungler doing right now? He's clearing the the crooks. So he's okay. both side with me. So if they're forcing gank like this, is this how? This is not allowed, right? How come? Well, he he will get counter ganks. And yes, uh, exactly. Sals has damage. He doesn't have flash, so yeah, exactly. So and he should get punished. Yeah, they can't. They is not. Uh, it won't work essentially because you saw Jim base. You told you told me yourself, right? Yeah, yeah. That's how we know we can we can make sure to crash a wave. Is because we we saw him base, so they could only send like you said Thresh and Silas, and your jungle is covering you right on your side of the map currently, right? <clears throat> so there's no universe unless you like somehow face check them and instantly die. That uh, they can they can make this gank work. So I think a lot of this is looking like, what are you supposed to be doing based on what your jungle is doing? Is one of them. And okay, so first is in lane. What are we supposed to be doing based off supports? So Thresh is missing hook. What do how do we play we with Soraka, see. right? We need to look for trade, yeah. Yeah, and then macro is uh, when we're past like the eight minute mark. It's like, what am I supposed to be doing when my jungle is like in top or my jungle is looking to dive or whatever, right? What does that mean for me, right? <clears throat> yeah. I think these are kind of the um, the two 
the two uh, factors in your d decision making that you need to look at. Also, you went Kraken Slayer. That's interesting. What'd you call Kraken yeah, Slayer? Um, well, I uh, thought even my, I think my role selection yeah. is uh, something like uh, I got Lifesteal with uh, the mastery for the increased HP to deal more damage for the tanker targets. Mm -hmm. I don't remember the name. Um, so I thought that they have uh, Urgot and Thresh, and I'm not really sure uh, Sal's build, but I suppose that it will be something tanky. So I decided Sal's to Sal's build for... something tanky? Well, I don't know, something like a Jack Show or something like that, which is... I don't see Sally's building of... Jack Show, do you? Well, I saw it, I think, once, so oh, interesting, I don't know interesting. why my thought process was like that. Yeah, they, aren't they just Night Harvester one-shot, right? Isn't that the, the uh, Most of the time the I see full AP. Oh, interesting. Oh, what's going on here? Uh, okay, hold on, let's back up. You had a nice combo on Thresh. That was really good. That was really clean. That was a very nice trap. <clears throat> and then instant EQ, very nice, very nice. Well played by you. And then, uh, this is, the, this is an interesting thing here. I, I saw something interesting happen here for us. Um, uh, maybe we should talk a little bit about this play. What do you think? Okay, uh, well, the first thing I see is I don't have to ult right away. Agreed. I can wait and uh, get into a better position. Mm -hmm. Agreed. Although of of it's a champion, not like Aatrox, since he had some CC, he knocked him twice. So I will have more time to auto attack, since the auto attacks have less range than not old. So I can mm -hmm. use it later, mm -hmm. and I can mm -hmm. use this time to trap as well. So right, agree. And what about this net over the wall? This is so, kind of this is kind of a uh, a classic. Uh, I was I was kind of sure I won't die, so I yeah, tried to kill agreed. him. Um, mm -hmm. I can maybe I could have weaved a, a trap, but it's kind of hard to do. No, yeah. I don't. I can't do it always. I felt like you really couldn't kill that guy, right? Yeah. So <clears throat> here's an interesting. Uh, here's an interesting correlation. Okay, remind me. How does Kalen do damage? From the headshot, main headshot, right? Something. And then abilities, mm -hmm. right? Yes, abilities. Okay, check it out. We net over the wall. The Salus is 200 health, literally. Do you have headshot ready? No. Do you have abilities ready? Oh, I have traps for now and give me one second. Yeah, but you can't, you, try, you can't really like land a trap on them unless they're like... Um, it's pretty hard to land on a trap on them, right? Like, yeah, guaranteed. Yeah, you like need usually net or, or Q or something, right? So... <clears throat> yeah. Is there any? Is it realistically possible to kill? I mean, honestly, you could probably force it, but then die to Jin, right? <clears throat> yeah. If you really wanted to. Um, so, being able to make a play, I think you should be charging headshot or look for Q or E or trap or something like that, yeah, right? This was very first. I mean, but so can... here's here's a better solution. Is there a better solution here? What do you think? Well, I can flash for it. Uh, let's say since at this at this point I see the uh, I don't know how it, or the name of it the blast cone I see the blast cone so uh -huh. I can't let's say I I don't know where to put the trap since I don't know with which side he will go I will wait however uh, when I see the cells entering the tribush I can just easily E W flash E W or flash yes. E yeah exactly. Like yeah, exactly. Is it? And the uh, basically the point is we need to use net to hit them, yeah. Instead of use net to go over the wall. So let's say for example, if you flash over, auto attack, EW, that's fine. If you fly, E flash, right? That's fine as well. Any anything really that involves us hitting them with E. I think uh, part of what we're seeing for Kaylin, the easy stuff to fix is just like, do you know? Do you know where your damage is coming from? Like in lane, when you stack headshot out of lane, it's a pretty pretty similar stack headshot. Look for. Uh, Look for a net play, right? Look for a trap play. Also, you went to kill minions, but uh, Katerin is going on your team here. Did you notice? Well, I am... Um, yeah, at this stage... That's where <laughs> I went. I He's think. trying to 1v5, what the fuck? Ah, good traps here. She can't get away, right? Let's kill this yeah. guy. Uh, you have lethal. Ooh. No, you have lethal! 
Okay, okay, we need to talk about this. We need to talk about this. Okay. <clears throat> we have lethal. How, how do you do it? Well, I just auto text to death. Uh, okay, so... Again, we have the same problem, as in lane. Fresh misses hook, we're gonna auto attack. And what do we say was the problem with this? Um, I used abilities. Wait, what? What was the problem with us just walking up to auto attack? <clears throat> um... The problem is I need to uh, know when Trish is, use hook. Uh, so he used it well, now. Well, after... Oh, no, in lane. Remember, you're like... I'm just gonna walk up in auto. But we need a headshots. okay stack headshot right exactly we need to yes. make us as strong as possible when we go for the trade your max damage trade pattern okay in this case do we have a uh, a play available to us is well, our headshot I ready think, i think i can flush wash with caitlin oh excuse me katarina yeah i'm, I'm down not sure but at least i will get her as low and i can follow it up with the other abilities well uh they we can even we can even net forward flash anything really right we got lethal yeah right but for some reason what happened here you what did you go for instead q i think we went for a q right which is interesting because uh the q will never hit unless they're cc'd or they're running at you or something like that right yeah <clears throat> so that's interesting and then the first thing you did was uh what would you do with the headshot we used on thresh we used on thresh i know it's a really awkward timing because silas just showed up Right, <clears throat> but that was really interesting. Is that we uh, ended up dumping on Thresh, okay? And then uh, here we net over. We're gonna look for him. He's dead as hell, right? Oh, you need to hit Q here. Oh, let's go! Very nice, very nice. <clears throat> so not bad, not bad overall. I would say. Um, I know we talk a lot about like how can we do more damage and whatever, but uh, I think you ge you generally have the cr the right um, when you're in the fight, you generally have the right idea, right? seems like oh wait what happened here hello i think i fucked up a spell here i'm not really sure but i'm i'm 90 percent uh, sure i fucked up something uh we are dead oh this fresh is oh no he has gale force uh might be a bit of a top gap <clears throat> it's fine i'm not really worried about this you guys really couldn't get away here oh you didn't trap or anything that's why well yeah they pinged. Or I wasn't really sure. Um, he didn't know he took the blast cone, right? <clears throat> yeah. So I, I see him here. I, th that's my bad. I should have seen him. Yeah. Since uh, and it doesn't matter who it is. The trap is a trap. I should have caught it. Yeah, it's and fine. Uh, and... I'm not worried about that. Okay. <clears throat> Obviously, we could uh we could have like trapped if we knew he was taking the blast cone, but it's fine. I'm not. I'm less worried about that than what I saw earlier about the stuff in lane, right? Yeah, yeah. they're all fighting okay we need to talk about this too okay so this is our main i would say this is our number one problem for sure okay because we keep saying it over and over again right <clears throat> so here we're pushing bot and then uh there's some stuff happening top side right i see i see katarina <clears throat> sounds is dead mm -hmm. i mean they're like hella fighting right <clears throat> and you're like kind of trying to figure out what to do because you don't see thresh and jin it. yeah and now you see jin like oh jin thresh let's push okay and while this stuff is happening mid, we should trade. Get stuff here, right? Yes. <clears throat> so what happened? We just got the wave. But why yeah, didn't we get the turret? Um, well, I'm not really sure. Since um, of, of this opportunity happened now, I, I would have taken it. But I thought that someone is coming, which could be Silas, but he's just now spawning. And that somehow I didn't pay attention to that. <laughs> yeah, exactly, right? So I think this is the... The reason why I think this is the number one thing is because I think this is this has happened a lot of times where something's going on on the map and then we're not uh, reacting um, correctly, <clears throat> right? Like, uh, yes. your Volo Bear is ganking top and how do we react when Soraka face checks Tribush? What do we do? We don't fight. Yeah, we don't, we don't want to fight them. But what did you do? We, did, we tried to fight them for some reason right yeah you continue to trade <clears throat> yes exactly we continue the trade to the point where we traded cleanse for hook and then silas flash for Sarak or something crazy right so it's the same thing here like they are they are uh sieging mid right and uh how do we react we based right we need to be doing something we need to either go towards the fight or we need to take the tower it's definitely take the tower here right <clears throat> yes that's the best solution since i can rotate them to mid <clears throat> right so i think the the one of the best habits you can make is Every time you look at the map, 
see what your team is doing, what their team is doing, and then say, what, what am I supposed to be doing because of that? Right? So if, they, yeah. if, we are, if our team is making a play, and you're not on that side, we need to not get played. We need to not be engaged on. Yeah, to be mirrored. Yes, exactly. And then if enemy team is doing something, we react by fighting or trading. Okay? Yeah. So two cases. One is your team starting stuff. The other case is the other team starting stuff. Okay? And you need to be able to react. Basically, it boils down to uh, our team does stuff. Make yourself a part of the play. Their team does stuff. You need a counter or you need to take something on the opposite side. That's it. Okay? <clears throat> I think that's... um. This is this is where we're losing a lot of uh, potential um, opportunities slash giving the enemy opportunities, right? I mean, this is the exact this is the exact same thing. Look, team, their team is doing the rift herald. Okay, hey, what is our team doing? Uh, Whatever is backing. Okay. <laughs> yeah, he's yeah. He's yeah, he's basing. What about to... Aatrox? I don't know. He's going bot. He's going bot. Okay, what does that mean for us then? Are we well... contesting or are we trading? We shouldn't contest since not contest, no contest. Team. Agree, no contest. Yes. Okay, I want to see the first step you make. Oh, where are you going? <laughs> Honestly, we're going I... to contest. Okay, so <clears throat> this is why the first person perspective is very important. I already know your intentions. You're walking over to help your team. This is yeah, fake I news. We're all gonna die, right? <clears throat> this is, we need to do this. We need to do, we go do this. Okay, we take everything over That's here. Okay, so I think this is one of the, the biggest things. This is, this is probably the biggest D1 Masters hurdle. Is you guys are doing some like random shit like this that's wasting... Actually, you guys are just dying, honestly, right? This is, at I'm best case too. scenario, wasting time. Worst <laughs> case scenario, someone fucking dies. Oh, two people die. Right? Isn't that crazy? Isn't that crazy how we can tell before anyone makes a single move that your t whole team's gonna die? I, I don't care what happens. Your whole team's dying, right? You yeah, actually die here if you try and auto attack someone. Oh, you're dead too, right? So yeah. it's a matter of intent. That's the secret. At this rank, it's all about what are you trying to do. Like you, I saw you hit like good traps. I saw you hit good EQ. You don't you don't need help with any of that. Maybe you need to work on counting your headshots so you can um, uh, trade with headshot or look for a flash play with headshot. But the bottom line in this replay is definitely what are you trying to do at any given moment, right? <clears throat> this is FF probably. I think it's too far gone, right? Yeah, yeah, I think we're FF. I, okay. I think I, I don't know more time as FF. Let's look at another game. Okay. Um, let's uh, look at... Um, I think I have 3k games. Let's look at the other one with Kalista Alistair. Okay. And uh, in your words, based on what we saw last game, how did we lose control? Did you said that was the main well, issue. I lost, I lost control. Uh, I, had, I had to take better trades. Okay. Or I let let me rephrase that. I had to take some trades. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And let's yeah let's take some trades. These, right? these trades <clears throat> had to be based on my core strengths, which yes. is the headshot. Yes. And the abilities when I can yes. give them. Uh, Perfect. So I <clears throat> that's actually when I think about this game since I when I played it. Uh, when you play a lot of games, you know it. You, you feel the enemy. You know how he moves, what he wants to do, and stuff mm -hmm. like that. So the reason why I said I lost control of the game is because I didn't have one in the in the first place, mm -hmm. and that's why it happened. <clears throat> yeah, I know. Let, let's say if I'm ahead and I throw, it's normal to not have control since you gave up the enemy lead. Yeah, and. Uh, however, this game I just lost. I couldn't do anything. I felt lost. And yeah. seeing it on a replay and <clears throat> you pointing out the key mistakes definitely helps me to see why that happened. Right. It makes a lot of and, sense now, right? <clears throat> yeah. All right. And then uh, when it comes to like uh, macro stuff, the main the main thing is definitely what? Well, the main thing is to see where what my team is doing. Yeah. The jungler. Yeah. If he's top. I don't mess around bots, and okay. that applies to objectives, even out of lane. Here, this fight is... In kills guy. I oh won. no, you didn't yeah, exhaust! Didn't. Oh my god! Oh my god! You forgot yes. you had exhaust! That was a yes. beautiful yes. trap. You killed him the instant you land that trap, but you forgot you had exhaust, so you didn't exhaust scared. his damage. I... Oh no! That was oh. very sad, not gonna lie. That was a beautiful trap. That was perfect. Per right on top of you, perfect. Oh my god, it's so good. 
Yeah. Um, how do you feel about this? What do you think? I feel very bad. Well, uh, about why it happened, uh, when we exclude the summoner spell use on things <clears throat> out. Yeah. Here, uh, I know that we have prior. They, are, I'm, I'm not really sure how many minions they need for two, but I'm not sure they. I know that they <clears throat> won't have it. Mm -hmm. But I need to be more. This shouldn't happen. Let's yeah. say it with one sentence. This shouldn't happen at all. Agreed. I need to win versus Xin Zhao. He's level two. I'm level two. I have similar advantage due to him having ignite, uh, smite. Uh huh. And this is just a pure one v one. I do, I you can't. Just, you just didn't this. exhaust, I guess. Yes. Exactly. Uh, I don't know. It's uh, very close. If you had heal, heal works too. But um, honestly, I think um, I would not worry I about it as much. Exactly. Unless you uh, this happens to you a lot, but uh, yeah, I think that was a clear, clear one v one win. Oh, yeah. unfortunate. Okay, it's fine. Sometimes it'd be like that. <clears throat> so we're slow pushing. We're gonna try and crash. Make sure you don't die to the jungler. Alistar has no flash, right? So it makes things a lot easier. Good, 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 good. All oh, this is fine. And then you look for a bind under tower, right? <clears throat> we're gonna skim through this a bit because I think we're um getting close to time. But um, let's see if we see up. Oh, Nice, uh, nice bind by Lux. Very nice. Go ward again. Beautiful. You can go get the, uh, is that a pink ward you guys are trying to get? It is. Nice. And then, uh, go find the river, right? Uh, yeah, we saw that Mid is <clears throat> in jungle are invading, but <clears throat> not here at this point. I'm either cut off or I need to cut them off, which <clears throat> yeah, is dangerous this is, uh... since they can turn four people on me. Oh, so I have two. Very nice. Oh, we hit everything. Very nice. I uh, don't think you can get the word though. Well, this I've is a bit. Uh, okay, you're good. Ooh, I was gonna say, uh, could be a potential problem, but we're good. Hey yo, free kill. Close. <clears throat> okay, sure. Pushing towards us, we can just go home, or you could, uh, you could stay too. I think if you jailing them is a good, uh, good choice too. I will probably would not use Q there though, cause uh, you're running out of mana, right? I just want to push and back off. Uh, there's another wave though, so uh, oh, no. yeah, you didn't, you didn't quite realize. <clears throat> also, uh, if you stay, it's cause you want to jail him. You're just giving him the CS at this point. If you're not trying to jail him, oh my god, we're dead. <clears throat> Trap. Oh. Here. Oh. Okay, not bad. Oh my god, hit that's range. Okay, let's talk about this. We got some decision making issues, right? Okay. Yeah. This wave is pushing towards us, correct? Yes, it will push. The two minions range minions are not enough. It will still push eventually towards us. So if you stay, it's to prevent this Callista from playing the game. Because he's also no resources, right? Yeah. So uh all you have to do is just make him base. Just don't let him touch minions, right? Yeah, and how do we do uh, that? Well, again, uh, we I need to trade. Yeah, throw a headshot in his face. Shot. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That, exactly. That will be enough of this HP. Since... There you go. Right. So then, if you look at uh, if you look at uh, how he's how what what he wants, he wants the minions. And what did you do? We headshot a minion. Right. right? Yeah, <clears> so minions. easy trick for landing phase is play around your headshot. Okay, that's what you need to do. And then you try to you try to push here, which um. I think didn't make so much. You could go for the 2v3. I don't think that's bad. But you actually have no mana because you uh, queued yeah. the wave. I'm not sure if you... You you were intending to crash the wave, but you didn't realize it was not crashable. Yeah, right? we talked about the intention. Was, <clears throat> yeah, the intention so... Is sticking to it, and I'm not doing any of them right here. Yeah, and then this guy, this outsider, really nice engaged. That was clean. Um, because you have no mana, you can't net. So it's really <laughs> it's yeah. a bit awkward, right? <clears throat> so uh, yeah, the I think the majority of your problems are looking like landing phase so far, which is interesting. Um, okay, let's keep going. It's fine. It's still winnable. Very, still very winnable. I think uh, this class is kind of not going to be able to carry this game, so I I would not worry too much. And then uh, we're like a bit afraid. So okay, sure. And then uh, Alice. Oh my God, this is not allowed. I didn't see him. Honestly, oh, I don't no. know where he passed. That was a nice flash, though. Nice reaction flash. Uh, <clears throat> I really didn't see him, how he went there. Oh, he uh, he he, he walked around, didn't he? Didn't he? He just walked around? Look. Oh. 
You couldn't. Okay. So maybe we have a map awareness <laughs> issue. It could only be one place. Because uh, he walked around and you have both sides warded, right? Yeah, <laughs> He's yeah. in your bot side jungle. <laughs> so uh, definitely some kind of map awareness issue. But that was a really nice reaction flash. Okay. That was very nice. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I think you need to look at the map more to figure out what you need to do. In general, in general, okay? Specifically, <clears throat> every time we kill a minion, look at the map, find your jungler. Then figure out what am I supposed to do, okay? <clears throat> um, is he allowed to touch these minions? What's going on here? He shouldn't be. <clears throat> okay, how do we... Remember, how do we uh, get pressure as Kaelin? Stack the headshot then. Stack the headshot. Oh, We're at three, okay? I need you to... Three, auto attack something three times and then hit his, and then look and prevent this guy from touching minions, okay? <clears throat> so if you don't do that, you can't pressure him, right? And so as you can see, he cleared a bunch of minions before you're getting headshot, right? So that's the trick, yeah. okay? That's the, that's, the, that's the secret trick. Oh no, we headshot a minion there. If you headshot him, then uh, he's dying, I'm pretty sure, right? Yeah, After he got hit by that Luxie. Yeah. yeah, so that's... If they're, you're trying, struggling to find a reason why we... Th they're doing illegal stuff, it's one of the main reasons is because... You're not pressuring with headshot. Yeah, well, I'm, okay. not allowing, I'm, I'm allowing them actually. Yes, you're allowing them to do whatever they want. It's the same with the gin, right? These guys are not very. Uh, they're playing kind of like animals. <clears throat> so how do we punish? Okay, fast forward. Uh, this way, this is looking kind of dicey. But you have Lilia, so Lux should walk up and bait, right? I'm down. Let's go. Nice. Oh, we missed everything. <sighs> Disaster. It's fine. No one died. <clears throat> Let's keep going. This game is not going great, but it could be worse. We got Gale Force, nice. Came back on a cannon wave, nice. Push, no wards. Sometimes it'd be like that. Uh, I don't think you're allowed to hit this. Alistair has Moby Boots, right? Sir, you're yeah, gonna die to close. engage? Oh, he's top. No, he's not. That's Jax. You're still dead. I'm surprised you're not dead here. Okay. Yeah, what do you think about this? Well, that's a lot. That's too risky. I know the rule that if I don't see, if I don't have wards or I don't see the jungler, let's say I see the enemy bot, mm -hmm. I shouldn't uh, hit the turret. <clears throat> yes. Okay. This applies here multiple times since Easy. I don't have any vision. And the easiest, one of the most effective habits for you right now is you push the wave. Look at your look at your team positioning. I'll tell you everything you need to know. Okay? Jungle top side, support and base, I AFK. That's it. Done. And then mid died and mid spacing. Enemy mid died and you're mid spacing, so there's nothing there, right? So here you're doing this 1v3 play and you're you are uh, gonna die. <laughs> right? I should die here. Nine times out of ten, you die here. I have no idea how you didn't die here. That's actually insane. You even stayed for the wave. So nine point five times out of ten you die here. I, I have no idea how you're getting away with this, to be honest. Right? Because any Alistar engage, any Zin engage, any Callista ulti is lethal. Um, yeah. So yeah. Uh, okay, speaking of Zin engage, here we go. <clears throat> and Lilia counter gank, ready? Okay. <clears throat> uh, nice, very nice. Is there more? No more. <clears throat> okay. Any way to make this play better? What do you think? Well, I could save my Q, not, not really need it. I can I'm just out of Q. I, I think Q is fine. I think Q is good. Um, I can exhaust, for example, on the Zinza. Or yeah, you can exhaust. But uh, honestly, I'm down to save it as well. Mm. I think overall it's pretty good, right? Although there is good, uh... yeah. my trap placement should have been better. This trap, yeah. exactly. He yeah, should, exactly. Be this trap. This trap doesn't Close really it. make as much sense, right? Yeah. <clears throat> you, so, uh, yeah. you either trap the follow-up. I mean, this second trap was amazing. This this trap was amazing. 10 out of 10, right? That's the one you were you wanted to look for, is that kind of trap. <clears throat> um, okay, I think overall pretty good. I'm not... Actually, let's not, let's not really change anything, okay? But I do think there are some trap mechanical ideas we can look at, because I saw some in the last game against Jin. Um... Like the tribush traps, for example, that weren't along the wall. I remember you were like, you put it like this and this, when it could have been like this, right? Yeah. 
<clears throat> but uh, let's not worry about that, okay? I'm not gonna worry about that as much. Um, Baiting Zin with Exhaust, okay? He's dead to... He's not dead. He got away with it. I'm sad. Yeah, I don't know how. That's well, all my process. <clears throat> you should know how, Sometimes. right? Well... Uh, sometimes I apply the the concepts which you told me regarding the junglers and the team, what each team is doing and uh -huh. what the other should or should not do. Uh -huh. uh, the the problem sometimes with me is that uh, I know these things. However, sometimes I don't pay attention to them, like I'm disregarding or disrespecting them. Yeah, like something like this, right? <laughs> they, yeah, which is not good. There was uh, the moment I hit master. A few a few months ago, uh, the main thing that gave me a really good advantage was since I spoke with friends, uh, a fellow ADC main that uh, managed to hit challenger a few seasons ago. He told me you disrespect the jungler a lot. Yeah, it's you more don't pay yeah. To him. You don't know what your jungler and their jungler is doing. I yes, think that's the exactly. main thing, right? You need to know what they're doing at all times. Otherwise, the instant you make one mistake, double kill the jungle, GG, right? Yeah. That's the number one priority is making sure we don't uh, int into the enemy jungler, right? Because that's how you that's how you start losing the game, for sure. Wow, <clears throat> nice talent combo. I think you ulti to Zin ulti. I'm not really sure what happened there. Uh... <laughs> I don't know. Uh... Uh, yeah, I'm not really sure what's going on here. Okay, so <clears throat> you want to push the wave? Yeah, I know sure. they're fighting, but the fight should. Yeah, I'm down. I think the ulti is just uh, wasting time though. Uh, but that's fine. No one wanted to surrender, Whoa. bro. What the hell? Okay, let's watch his mid game because we didn't see any mid game from last um game, right? Yeah, there wasn't any. Okay, a bit awkward on the queue, but it's fine. I don't think it really matters. You can gale force this guy, but uh, you can also just auto tag. Good, 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 good. Uh, oh my god, you almost died there. Okay. I felt safe since I have Guild Force and. Well, Volkos, so you, uh, if you got hit by that, you were, uh, you were dying, no? <clears throat> I should have, yes. Jax was right there. Oh my god, he tried to do the ASAP thing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> See, that's, nice. that's pretty funny. All right, and we end up basing. We lost too much health. Feels bad. They Baron? This is not allowed. I mean, you guys win the game now, no? Surely, surely we kill everyone here. Yeah, I mean, okay. Mm -hmm. GG. Fast forward. Sure. You can do red. Uh, okay, you're kind of griefing tempo, right? Okay, let's talk about this. <clears throat> tempo ideas. So, why did I say you were griefing tempo? Since I can be top. Uh, okay, what's the secret to... Uh, okay, macro decisions we said were based off what? Um, based off the team. What the team. Doing. Agreed. Yes. Okay, so just watch your team here for these next 30 seconds. You're backing, and I'm <laughs> okay. doing... Lux is basing. And uh, who's spawning? Okay, Talon came out of base. Gragas came out of base. So if you do these chickens, that means you cannot base. How come? Well, since they're, they will be here, and I will have to base and leave them as four. Yes, exactly. You're wasting everyone's time, right? Yes. <laughs> Look, what is Talon doing? Look at this. He's already in deep, right? He's already seeking so, for another play. And I saw you channel base, which means you didn't know what was happening right well, so i wanted to get another 100 g uh the rapid. yeah but it's not worth trolling everyone's timing because uh okay. this is how you lose the game right let like your rapid fire is here. huh <clears throat> uh let me ask something oh yeah yeah yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, for, yeah for rapid fire i can yeah. understand it yeah however for most adcs the third item is the infinity edge yes let's say you know yes do. if you have the gold in this situation here yes you should also avoid it and uh, stay with the stay with the temple. Uh, no, I would spam ping and get the IE, unless it's like Infernal Soul Baron, whatever is coming up, because your Infinity Edge is more uh, really important. Your your Infinity Edge is really important. You can carry team fights, right? Yeah. Yeah, but you don't I want to grief tempo for like um you don't want to grief tempo right. for anything else really, <laughs> right? Because yeah, your team is uh you're here to back them up. I mean they're level fourteen talent, they're jungle top lane or whatever. You're like the weakest character in the game so you don't want to hold everyone back if that makes any sense you're like preventing yeah, yeah, them from playing the game if you base <clears throat> so look talent's doing something we got to do something you got to help right like you realized it right now but 
<clears throat> yeah, yeah so it's good. It's good. It's good. But the the I'm worried about the fact that you channel base in the first place. You still can't base by the way. That dragon's up. <clears throat> yeah, and you type, you realize it after, right? So definitely, I think macro ideas are gonna be your your main focus. Okay, landing ideas in terms of um uh being able to apply more pressure and play around the jungle, but mostly this uh, macro idea where what are you supposed to be doing based on what your team is doing? Okay, and if the enemy team does something, you need to either counter or trade. So like earlier, uh, you had a good idea where there's like some fighting going on. You push mid. That was a good idea. I don't know why you ulti though, but you had the right idea. Okay, <clears throat> so yeah. Now this base, uh, probably the same thing, right? <laughs> we need to push mid, right? How come? Well, the my team is actually I am part of the group that is doing something right we now. are doing something yes everyone's doing yeah, something gragas is even fighting jacks i don't even know lily is trolling lily is basing well gragas is fighting jack you see how like this is uh this is this is yeah. this is why the d1 masters area people get stuck really quick it's like dude what is this guy doing there is no item that that means base here bro kill, uh, help this guy you know what i'm saying <clears throat> how can how can your jungle be basing when we're making a mid and a bot play at the same time i don't understand <clears throat> but yeah um it's a, a core idea, okay? Is you cannot uh, you cannot uh, troll your team, and you see how like you're staying ten years. Is it fine that you don't have rapid fire? Well, it's it's actually fine. However, I lost some time <clears throat> trying yeah. to back. Yeah, exactly, to exactly. It turned out it turned out to be yeah. okay, right? It turned out to be pretty good. So yeah, yeah. you didn't have to base, right? Well, you not basing was correct, I, I should say, right? <clears throat> okay, we need to go yeah. mid here. You had, you pad by here, but um. I'm gonna go mid, right? Yeah, uh, I'm not really sure why. Maybe I was. This is the trick. This is the trick. You think a big team fight's gonna? If a big team fight breaks out bot, you need to go. But I know from this frame, there's no big team fight bot. How come? Yeah, the enemy ADC is not there. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly. <laughs> exactly. So therefore, we just go mid, all right? And that's how you save. You see, you save a lot of time and decision making. Just by looking at the map and figuring out what people are doing, okay? I guess like the main, your main goal is to make only map-based decision making, and then you focus on your screen next, okay? <clears throat> so you say we want to fight, then you focus on your screen, okay? Does that make sense? Yeah. This is trolling. This game is so over. I don't understand how yeah. they haven't FF yet when the enemy team is doing stuff like this. Uh, yeah, he's just dead. Okay, good. Push mid. Bring, um, <clears throat> down to uh, playoff talent. I don't know why everyone's uh, AFK here, but uh, yeah, you can try and save him. Push mid again, right? Good, good, good. Yeah, I'm not really sure why Lily went top. I think your jungle is struggling a bit here. Uh, <laughs> not really sure what's going on, but it's fine. Press forward. Your jungle didn't even invade. What's going on? Okay, there. Well, I mean, he's invading the chickens, I guess. Shirt. Oh my God, the damage. <clears throat> okay, I think Talon is just trying to end the game by himself. Yeah, Wait, dude, he's what, just taking... <clears throat> what questions do you have, by the way? Well, um, I'm looking at this game, and most of the things. The first game was more impactful since here, um, I know. Uh, when we exclude the macro game, I mm -hmm. know what mistakes I did. Mm -hmm. um, and that's the first engage at level 2 with Zinzao. That's, uh, it's a misplay. It can happen. I know mm -hmm. what I should have done mm -hmm. and uh, what I need to do. Um, regarding the first game, however, that's like where more of my <clears throat> issues come from. Ah, yeah. I would, I would agree. That's, that's not oh. only from Caitlyn. <clears throat> what about this? Strengths. What about this? Yeah. What do you think about this? So here, first my... Um, to start with, my I die with flash, first of all. Let's see. Here, I need to flash the Alistair combo. Okay. Or at, <clears throat> or at, at the very least, uh, flash preemptively. So uh, in space. And I, I, I'm gonna give you a trick, okay? I'm gonna see if this uh, gives you a Eureka moment. Uh, you can expect Jax and Alistair to flash from here. How come? Okay. 
Well, I I don't know their timer. No, no, no. Oh, just and... just assume they have it up. <laughs> yeah. When I don't know it, I assume they have it up, so I, I need to be prepared. Well, how do I know they're thinking about flashing on you here? Here's a trick. Okay, ready? They don't know. They don't know yet. Well, now they know. And looks. Now they want to look. Well, he's walking into a binding. No, so no, no, no. Okay. He used Q. <clears throat> I'll, show, I'll show you a trick. Okay, this is the this is the a big trick. Or right, uh, very important for you to to kind of um, internalize. Okay. So, what's going on? Uh, what does the enemy team see right now? They, I suppose they don't have a vision on um, Lilia and our mid. Uh -huh. So, they As see for... a spot lane. Okay, what do they, they see now? A... Oh, I understand. So, they okay. see the yeah. most powerful champion on mid. Okay. Far away from us. And the other one... They don't see any. Uh, they don't, they see also see Gragas, yep. which can't TP. No, I don't remember what he had. Well, they're, they're so, fighting right now. Yeah, they're fighting, so he can't join as well. The only one that can possibly join is Lilia. However, they can engage us. Engage on us. Yeah, they're gonna try four v three, right? A force four v three. In fact, flash. They're gonna do everything, everything possible. Kalista all team flash everything. Okay, <clears throat> and what are we thinking at this time? I'm just gonna hit the tower, right? <clears throat> So this is the trick, is you can understand what your opponents are thinking if you know where your teammates are and what vision you're showing. Okay, you show talent mid, therefore they will try and force right now in the next 10 seconds. This is their only time. Because after 10 seconds, what happens? Well, talent pushes mid and he comes either bot or top. Perfect, exactly, right? Talent will be a push mid by now. It happens right now. Okay, you want to see how fast they decide? I'm going to press play. I want you to watch what they do. Ready? Yeah. He saw he saw it, Jax immediately jumped in, right? How fast how fast is that? He's just going right now, dude. He doesn't care. Well, when when I think about it, actually they, that's one of their saving grace. Uh since they, they can't win 5v5, they can't mm -hmm. win uh -huh. So they need to do to capitalize on our mistakes. Yeah, they have to fight five before, right? If I was them, I would have tried to do something like that as well. Yeah, exactly. Since I have to fight right now, right? That's that's yeah. what they're thinking. Okay. And look, this there's a very clear correlation. They're not doing anything. Talon showed he sprints in, right? <clears throat> that's yeah. the that's that's the, the key um concept I want you to memorize or internalize, I should say. Is they're always gonna do something based off information your team is giving them. And you should always be doing something based on, you know, information they're giving you, right? Based, basically, yeah. map-based info, okay? And now, from here, you know they're going to force on you, 100%. Your goal is to just run away while talent splits or comes to help. So here, yeah. I see you auto-attack him three times. I'm like, yeah, this is, doesn't do anything, right? <clears throat> yeah. Instead, we should be focusing on how do we not get flashed on or Kalista ultied, right? And then, and then you can turn around and kill them, okay? But, uh, yeah, auto-attacks do nothing to this guy, right? It's pretty funny. Your your headshot did 150 damage. Yeah, <laughs> that's pretty funny. <clears throat> yeah, so uh, does that kind of make sense? Is it is that like um? It, it, it makes sense. I understand. It is um. I um, I've used this concept, however, at a very shallowly. Of, yeah, um, of <clears throat> it has to be very uh uh. You want to work on it to the point where you know immediately. Okay. Since, <clears throat> um, I. That's how I learned to split push. There are some games where I played to play in like Fiora or something uh -huh, like that. Uh -huh. So that's the base concept of when you continue to split push and when not. Yes, and exactly. Based on yes. the fight or the objective you're gonna take, you join. Yeah. Uh, however, um, I need more games with Caitlyn in order for her fundamentals, like the headshot one, uh, to become native to me and to not even think about it. Since there are some times when uh, I don't know how to explain it. I even if I don't see the shot, I hear it, and by hearing, yes, you hear I, it. Then, yes, uh, yeah. Then I decide what to do, but that's a very split second. So sometimes I I take this concept uh, very um, into very precise detail, and sometimes I'm just like lulls for the example, uh, like <laughs> this example, and just die, which is not optimal since, as we talked. Well, I need to know what they are doing. So, uh, 
in order to know what I need to do. Yeah, <clears throat> agree. Okay. Big takeaways from today. Okay, do you have any last questions, by the way, before we wrap it up? Um, no, no. Did you get all your questions answered? Like, now you know why you're losing control and you know what you need to work on and that kind of stuff? Yeah, yeah. Good. Okay. Let's do a recap then. Um, biggest takeaways <clears throat> from today for you. Biggest what do you think were the most important, uh, most important things you learned? The most important is I, I undervalue the strengths, of, the strengths of my champion, for example, Caitlyn, and how to use them. So, uh, I need to use headshot. Count the hit, the count the out attacks into a headshot trait. Oh, they have a support like trash. If he misses an ability, I then need to trade with my strongest ability. Yes, which is the perfect. headshot. <clears throat> yes, exactly. Uh, the other one is um, use my summoner spells. Uh, <laughs> that was kind of awkward. <laughs> yeah, and uh, the other more important one is the macro one. If okay. I see that my jungler is doing something top, I should just chill and focus okay. on farming without doing stupid shit or fighting so I can burn spells. And that applies also to the mid to late game macro. To mm -hmm. see where my team is and to decide when to back off and wait and when to push. Right. So I think um, my favorite habit that I use is more like if I ever ask myself, what am I supposed to do? I just look at the map. I just stare at it until I figure out what I need to do. Or I'm just like... What am I supposed to do right now? I look at my jungle and I'm like, oh, okay, yeah, it makes sense, right? And that, I think that trick yeah. might help you a lot in terms of uh, making sure you don't, like, siege tower when uh, jungle is supporting base, for example, stuff like that, okay? Mm -hmm. So, <clears throat> all right, um, no last questions, right? Yeah. All right, cool. Then uh, I will, uh, let me know how the games are going, okay? If you do have questions, yeah. I'm always on Discord. You can hit me up. And if you have um, clips you want to show me of, like, Oh, this is this is what I uh this is what I did after a session or I don't know what I was supposed to do here. You can you can always send it my way, okay? Okay, thank you very much. No problem, no <laughs> problem. All right, let me know how the games go, okay? I'm sure um I'm sure you can do really well. Some small fixes can have really big impact on your gameplay. Like the the, the macro stuff, probably the single most important thing for you to to look at, right? <clears throat> yeah. So, okay. Then uh, good luck in your games. Let me know how they go, okay? Thank you very much again. It was a pleasure for me. We'll forward it uh, after a few games. I think I'm going to play tomorrow. I avoid late solo queue on the OS. <laughs> it's, a, it's a nightmare. <laughs> All right, yeah. So... Definitely uh, definitely know how they're going. Let me know how they're going, right? So Yeah, sure. All right, man. <clears throat> Take care. Okay. Sorry, for being, uh, sorry for being late. No, no worries. No biggie. All good. Thank you very much again. No Have a great problem. day, bro. You too, you too. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.